And it was like the scales lifted from my eyes. I realized when I was looking at another person's body, I was seeing the consequences of all the relationships that they'd had over time. Like the soft clay of our body is shaped by the kinds of interactions that we have over time. Whether we have a, a you know, perpetual, uh, these muscles are perpetually pulled up because we're, we've been sad so much, or whether our brow is chronically kind of pressed down because we've been, and our jaw is tight because we've been angry a lot. You know, the other person that shaped the face of the person in front of me is present in the way they hold their body, in the way they talk, in the way that they make a face. And you know this as an actor, because one of the things you do when you are assuming a role is you get into that person's body. You make their face. You hold your posture the way they hold it. You breathe. You, you use your voice the way that they do. And so there's a story in every body. And when I realized this, I realized I could start by simply just gently creating rapport with a person and then asking them about what I could see, what I could hear, the way that they stood, you know, because I would find out who else is there. I would find their constellation just by engaging with the way that they showed, showed up for me. Um, it took me years to really train that discernment. Uh, and to, to learn to use it. And I did a series of experiments for a while and my students were gratefully willing to, you know, let me learn things with them. Um, so it's become now just kind of second nature for me to really notice that. And I'm amazed how much there is about people's constellations and their systems the minute they walk in the door. It's like, that's the low hanging fruit. That's actually easy for us to get. Um, and to see and to use as constellation facilitators. And I think sometimes we rely on our, quote, intuition without really unpacking what intuition is, mm -hmm. how it works, what we are responding to. And then we have the risk of going into bias and stereotype because we don't question the, what we respond to. But what we respond to is as much about us as it is about the other person. So it's complex, you know, it's... Uh, it's a really rich um, area of continuing inquiry for me um, of like, yeah, why not use, let me, let me look at, let me see you deeply first before I make an assumption and let me ask, let me inquire rather than tell myself a story. Let me inquire and let you share with me what you know. <laughs>